Well, I can't believe you're tuning into this, but somebody requested that I do a, uh, a hate letter to skateboarding. And I'm going to do it on two skaters that I think, you know, never really should have been, uh, never should have ended up in the sport like to begin with. The first is Jim Gray. I mean, my God, what did the guy do? I mean, I don't, nobody really knows where he came from or anything, but he just perfected the gay, excuse me, the gray slide. And, you know, he wore hollow pads, which, you know, to me were, you know, that, that BMX crossover thing. I wasn't really down with that. Um, but he did, everything was sketchy. Everything he did just, it looked like shit. You know, landing four feet below the coping at Del Mar or whatever, you know, it's just, just, it's, I don't know where he came from. Billy Ruff. Here's another example of somebody that could not pump, could not get their speed together or anything. Every trick was five feet below the coping. The guy was short too, you know, I mean, that doesn't help. Plus, he was, you know, I don't know what he's doing now. I think he's selling shoes or whatever. But, I mean, you know, it, it a lot of that stuff, a lot of that stuff that went on, like in the 80s, like with the, you know, with the skaters and the pool riding and all that stuff, you put them in Upland and you got the results. It's like you, you, you saw it separated the men from the boys and the tools from the toys, as they say. But, like, you know, Del Mar, I mean, if either Jim Gray nor Billy Ruff could skate Del Mar. They just landed in the bottom. And I mean, they do, it's just, I don't know. It was terrible to me. But anyway, this is my hate letter to skateboarding.